hello everyone welcome back to another 3d logo intro video tutorial so in this video i'm going to show you how to make this type of 3d logo entry in adobe after effects and to make this video we're going to use 11 3d plugin so make sure that you have this plugin in your pc so so before starting this tutorial if you are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe it so now let's get started the video so here you can see that i have already created this animation and for now i'm going to start with a new project so let's create a new composition and i'm going to rename it to main and i'm using 20 second duration 30 frame rate per second 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel by the way you can download this template from the link in video description so now let's drop our logo to the timeline so this is the logo i'm going to use drop it and let's adjust its size and let's pre-compose the logo and rename it to logo com select move all attribute to the new composition then hit ok now you can turn off this now select the logo go to layer and select auto trace select apply to the new layer and from here select alpha then hit ok so it will create a new auto trace layer so you can rename it to logo trace now you can also hide it now let's create a new solid again and rename it to element we're going to apply element 3d here now select this element and then go to effect video copy that and then select element now go to customize layer then custom texture and mask from here select this logo trace that we auto trace here now you can close it then click on the scene setup now from here just click on extrude so our 3d logo will be appear here now select this let's turn off bevel curves and depth now change its extrude to 8 now select this change this to extreme and select bevel copies 4 turn off this First select this, go to preset and then physical. Let's apply dark metal here. You can turn off the grid so that you can see the proper view. Now select this. Let's bring it to the forward something like this point and let's decrease it something like this now turn on this also bring it to something like this point this and click here turn on bevel outline make it little smaller Now select this, apply this to here, chrome effect and then make it something like this. Make it something like this. Now let's apply clean metal gold to this. Now select this, turn on, make them to zero. let increase it and drag it to something like this point and change it to black gloves select this change it to the chrome So our 3D logo is done. Now just click on OK. Now right click on your mouse, go to new, create a new camera, then hit OK. Now select this camera and let's zoom it. So 
so we get something like this and I can zoom it select this SP and shift a create a keyframe go to around four second forward now let's make it something like this Now select this, press Ctrl Shift D, press U and delete all of this keyframe from here. And let's make it something like this. Move here, create a keyframe, again forward 4 frames. And let's make it something like this. So make three or four camera rotation and then press Ctrl Shift D and delete this last camera. And let's create a new text and type your text here and align it to the center. Press Alt and cut this text at this position then forward something like this point cut it here now select your logo bring it to the front turn on it also cut this here then go to something like this point and again cut it here now you can drag this to this point right click trim to compare here now go to this point select the text press T, create a keyframe to the opacity, make it 0 and then forward 5 frames, make it 100% then go to this point, create another keyframe then go here, make it 0 then select the logo, press T create a keyframe make it 0 forward 5 frame and make it 100% now go to at this point create a keyframe go to the last of this frame make it 0 now back to at this point select the element 3d press alt and right bracket key to cut element 3d here now you can select all of this comp and right click recompose and rename it to 3d logo hit ok now let's create another new composition and rename it to render hit ok now let's drag this main composition that we created now drag this to the timeline cut this at this point now let's create a new background hit ok drag this background to below all of this select this go to effective reset and search for gradient change this to dark blue and this to black Change ram shape to red L. Then drag this point to this corner. And this to something like this. Okay. Go to camera option and you can turn on the depth of field. Make this to 250 and aperture 30. Let's change focus distance to something like this. also do the same thing for the camera 2 and all of this camera you have ok now back to the render comp let's go to project and 
drag this player photo so you can download this from the link in video description and change its mode to add press t to open opacity and change the opacity to 45 now let's create a new adjustment layer and rename it to carbs Select this, go to effect and preset and search for curves, apply it. Let's make it something like this. Okay, now right click, go to new, create a new solid and rename it to black bar. Select this. Select the rectangle tool from here, double click and then turn on title save action, double click here and let's make it something like this. Change this to subtract so you will get something cinematic bar. So after that let's import our audio for test let's drag and apply it to below all of this so our 3d logo entry is ready now let's see the preview so you see the preview now if you want to render it just go to composition then select add to render queue then from here select lossless and select your video format and if you have audio turn it on then hit ok now from here select your output folder then save it after that just turn on your caps lock and then hit on the render button so it will start the render this video so this is the video for today hope you enjoy it if you enjoyed then make sure to like this video and if you are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe so thank you so much for watching i'll be back with new tutorials soon till then take care